So are you a golfer that stands on the tee with driver and puts lots and lots of effort in like this? And gets a decent, accurate shot, but really feels that they don't get the distance they deserve. But how would you like to be a golfer that could stand on the tee, swing like this, and pick up some huge distance? Now, if you're a senior golfer, or just a golfer who maybe feels they're not as flexible as they should or could be, today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create some effortless power and start hitting some bombs from the tee. Now, there's some great information out there about the golf swing. So lots of golfers nowadays understand what they need to do to hit the ball further, particularly off the tee. So they know that they could do with swinging the club faster. They know they need to hit the ball out of the middle of the club face, and they know they need to get that driver traveling up through impact to absolutely optimize their driver distances. Now, even though we know that, there tends to be when we're getting a little bit older, as we all do, that we say, right, I just don't have that range of movement to actually make a big enough swing to get some club head speed. And even though I can hit it fairly solidly, if I can't get this moving fast, I can't transfer the energy from club to ball. And I know I'm supposed to hit up, but I don't really understand how I get that club traveling up in order to maximize those shots. So let's have a look at those two shots that I've hit at the start, help you understand how I've swung the golf club, what's actually happened in order for me to pick up such a big distance difference. Now, what I would say is your club head speed might not be relevant to what I've done in this video, but I've only picked up a small amount of club head speed, but delivered the club much better because I've moved better and had a better angle of attack. And if you can do that, you might not see 98 to 103 mile an hour or 92 to 98, but whatever it is, you'll see a good pickup in club head speed, better delivery of the club, so a massive pickup in distance. Right, so the key numbers on screen here is my swing direction has been minus 18.2 degrees. So that means my club is traveling at the lowest point of the swing, 18 degrees left or out to in. We see that my low point is 9.8 inches ahead of the golf ball. So that club is traveling down and I swung at 98 degrees and the club was moving eight degrees down at impact. Now for anybody that understands how the golf club and driver should be delivered, we definitely don't want that club moving down so we know we want to get the club moving up. But with the second drive here, we can see the numbers that all of a sudden now the swing direction was 3.1 degrees, plus 3.1, which is to the right or more towards the camera. The low point was 4.8 inches behind. So the club moved up 3.2 degrees. I've only gone up to 103 mile an hour. So it's only a five mile an hour pickup but there's over 60 yards extra in carry. So how are we gonna change that? How are we gonna get that delivery from that first one, which you might be more like, to the second one, which is I know what you would really, really like. So what we need to do is get that body moving better so we can move that club around our body better. Now the first one is something I see very much in, say senior golfers, but just golfers that lack flexibility, is they get set up to the ball pretty well, they try and stay very, very stable, so they plant their feet, keep their feet very flat on the floor, they make their backswing, and because everything's very planted, they're very restricted how far back they can swing. Now once they're restricted on the way back, they're gonna try and generate as much speed as they can, all upper body, they're gonna swing much more with the upper body, swing left, take all the loft off, and move that low point ahead. Now comment below 
Have I just described your golf swing? I'm not expecting there to be only one comment there. I'm expecting lots and lots of comments. So if you were to look at your golf swing from this angle, feet planted, very restricted on the way back, all upper body trying to get that speed. It just looks very steep and it's just not a golf swing that predominantly works with anything, but particularly driver. So I know what you're thinking. Yeah, but if that's as far as I can swing back, how am I going to improve that for starters? Well, the first thing is we're going to learn to let our body move a little bit more freely. And instead of keeping our feet very, very planted in the backswing, as you swing back, I want you to let your front heel come off the ground. And even as the practice swing, allow your trail toe to come off the ground. So you're almost going to feel that we go that way. And then on the way down, we're going to reverse. And you can see when that happens, look how much my hip moves in the backswing and equally would move on the way down. So we're going to have a few practice swings with that. And if you're someone who's flat footed, that might feel as far back as you can go. So we're going to let up onto the toe, let the toe come off the ground and straight away, just a much bigger hip turn allows my upper body to swing through and then much more of a full follow through. So even if I try to take all my speed out of the swing at that point and just get the footwork better to let the body move more freely, even if it's not a perfect drive, there's not much more club head speed there, but all of a sudden my swing direction is only minus 0.6. My low points move behind the ball straight away. The club's traveled up and I'm out at 234 yards carry. Straight away, that's a huge change. And the big reason being that when you're very restricted and upper body turns, we can't shift and use our lower body like we should do to initiate the downswing. So we should feel that as we move into that heel and up onto that toe, then as we shift across to plant our heel, then we can let everything come off the ground on the way back with that heel. And the club's now gonna work down behind me and more to the right. And if I were to just help you understand that because the club moves in an arc around your body, the further forward the low point, the more left I have to swing. Whereas the further behind, the more to the right the club's swinging. So if I can get that body moving better to allow that club to drop, the club's gonna swing more to the right, the low point's gonna be behind, and then the club's gonna travel up. So we can see straight away, we hear a lot about the golf swing starts from the ground up, particularly in that downswing. Well, if your feet are locked in position, it's very, very difficult, almost impossible for you to use the ground. So we want to feel on the way back, like I said, up onto your lead toe, into your trail heel, big backswing. Then we're gonna plant that heel down allow the weight to move onto the toe and swing through. And I want you to do lots of practice swings because it'll feel probably almost a little bit out of control to begin with. It's not out of control. It's just very, very much more free than you would normally swing the golf club. And most golfers don't like that feeling because it feels like the ball could go anywhere. But make some swings you'll hear the difference, even though it doesn't feel like you're putting loads of effort into the golf swing. The club's got longer to travel. You're using the ground, getting that energy up through the legs, through the body, into the arms, finally into that club. So you can set up as normal, let that body move more freely. and really start moving the club quicker and quicker. And like I said, that's only seven mile an hour quicker than before, but completely changed the direction of the golf swing, the low point, therefore the angle of attack, 
and it's just making me more and more efficient. And you just imagine that, that if you could add a tiny bit of club head speed, but then already pick up 20, 30, 40 yards because you're more efficient with the way you deliver driver, couldn't that be an absolute game changer for you? So I'm gonna do one last one. And like I said, the club head speed I'm moving at is irrelevant. Even if you were to swing slower, the fact that you can get that club moving up, get that good strike, you're gonna hit the ball further. You're gonna hit the ball more accurately because there's less manipulation needed through the bottom. And even if I take all my speed out of my swing, but use the ground and my feet and legs correctly, I mean, that honestly felt like I put nothing into that one. I've still been 101 mile an hour, but my swing direction, swinging to the right, low point 4.6 inches behind, club traveling three degrees up, and still at 221 yards carry. It's a huge pickup on that feeling of being very anchored in position, very restricted, very over controlled. And if you are a golfer who has hit driver like that in the past, if you don't change what you're doing, you're never gonna see a different result. So get used to how you let that body move more freely. Every golfer I work on that with is amazed how much better and bigger turn they can create. And off the back of that, more speed, more efficiently, and it's really gonna help you hit the ball better off the tee than you've ever done before. So guys, hopefully you're gonna find that video massively helpful for getting you hitting longer, drives off the tee, hitting shorter shots into the green, enjoying your golf more and scoring lower than ever. If you have enjoyed today's video, like it and share it, comment below, get back to as many people as I can. There's another video just there that YouTube thinks you're gonna enjoy. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.